All right, let's look at how to make a quick DJ drop. This is a question I get asked quite a lot, and DJ drops are very simple. For those of you that don't know what a DJ drop is, essentially it's a voice drop that people drop into their mix when they're live, and it usually has a few vocal effects. You can put sound effects on it as well. So let's go to Adobe Audition, my favorite audio editor, and hit the record button, and I'll call the file DJ drop. DJ Dave. I always use the word DJ Dave. It's just the easiest thing. Uh, so first of all, I've recorded that. I trim the star. I raise the volume like that. I go into a brand new multi-track session. Not going to use any template. Although, actually, let's use the DJ Drop template in Adobe Audition. This comes as standard with an Audition. So if you use Adobe Audition, they have a DJ Drop multi-track template. Uh, and it gives you a few vocal effects. So let's use their template. And let's drag it into the Vox Echo effects and listen to it. DJ Dave. That's pretty cool. And they've got a chorus effect file here. DJ Dave. That's actually a really cool chorus. Flanger. DJ Dave. Okay, so we can do DJ Let's do a little bit of a stutter. Let's just start off dry. So we'll do d -d -d DJ. And to do this, I'm simply going to highlight the start. D -D That's probably a bit too much. And notice I've got loop mode on down here so I can hear my stutter before I do it. D -D -D -D. And notice how d sometimes has that little dead part before it. I'm just going to trim that up. Try and get this nice and tight. D -D 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 -D. That's the kind of stutter I'm looking for. Now hold down Alt on your PC keyboard or Option on your Mac and just keep dragging by the title until you get the desired d that every DJ drop seems to need to have because it's compulsory. DJ Dave. DJ Dave. If I wanted to be extra epic, I could go to my effects rack on here. Notice the stuff already in the effects rack. That's because I'm using a template in Audition called DJ Drop, which is awesome. Uh, on this, I'm going to put in the sixth slot uh, under time and pitch, pitch shifter, but I'm not going to use this effect. I'm actually going to drop down the triangle on the chorus effect, and then I'm going to go under show envelopes, and I'm going to look for pitch shifter transpose ratio, and then I can paint on pitch shift changes. DJ. Or I can go... DJ. So I can go from down to up or up to down. DJ. DJ. I don't know why there's a glitching there. That's weird. DJ. When I do the mix down, it should be okay. So we got DJ Dave, and then we can have Dave, and maybe we can say Dave twice, like in a weird way. So let's do this here in the flanger. Let's play that. DJ Dave. Dave. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down a bit. I can do it by the yellow line, or I can drag this, or I can drag the track. Although that will do the whole track. This is quite good. Dave. Dave. So I've kind of used, a, 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 I've used a, this, a, and actually, a, a, there's quite an aggressive effect on that flanger track that's not allowing me to reduce that volume so much. So I'm going to use the track uh, fader, a, Dave, a, Dave. and then we'll take that and we'll double that up by holding down shift and alt and move that down to the echo effect. A, Dave. Dave. And then uh, to fin finalize it, this is just a basic thing. We're going to use some breakers from my production library. All production libraries are available from mrc.fm forward slash sfx. I'm using Music Radio Creative Production Library number nine. And I've got the preview mode on here so I can throw things in uh, to the place I think they should be. So that'll fit in nicely there. That will go here. And again, I'm just using the music track for simplicity here. DJ Dave. And that Dave feels a bit lost there. I might just move it around a bit. So that's quite nice. And uh, I mean, I, I could stick with that or I could stick pitch shift on this track as well to add a little bit of extra punchiness. Time of pitch, pitch shifter. Let's just bring that down a few semitones. Dave, 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 Dave. So it's DJ Dave, Dave, like that. And then when we're done, that's a DJ drop in a few minutes. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I want to make it easy for you entire session there is our dj drop mixing down so just to summarize i started off with adobe audition i recorded something in the waveform view then i went ahead and started a multi-track session selected the dj drop template i dragged the audio file in there moved it to different vocal effects used alt to duplicate and make that stutter used alt and shift to copy uh, tracks to different places without them moving around in time dropped in a few breakers from our music radio creative sound effects library and then we're ending up with something like this 
and I think that works really nice. I think that's really cool. There's a bit of a long tail on that, so I can trim by selecting the DJ drop and hitting Control T, but Ninja Tip here, hit Shift D first and look where this fades out. See, it's fading all the way here in the spectral view, ends about there. And we can add a little fade on like that using this to make the fade even more aggressive. And then we can highlight everything, Control T it to trim it down. Little bit too loud, but 32-bit mixing gives us leeway. Look at that, we got red lights going on there clipping, but thankfully due to 32-bit mixing, I can fade that down using the heads up volume and everything is preserved, no distortion at all. DJ drop, file, save as, waveform, MP3, boom, get it into Serato or whatever it is you use, you funky, trendy, hip and savvy DJs, and you got yourself a really cool DJ drop. Radio Creative.com